Yo, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be talking about making contracts that your clients can sign using Go High Level. Contracts are a great way to eliminate client churn because you're locking them into a contract. And we all know as agency owners, it can take those first couple months to start showing results from the marketing services that we're offering them, whether it's through us doing done for you services or whether it's through our white label Go High Level software. And so since we make them sign a contract, they can't cancel for those first couple months which is when we can really start showing them some really solid results. And then after that, it's way less likely that they'll ever cancel. Even after their contract is over, they'll still keep wanting to use your software or your SMMA services. As always guys, please remember to like and subscribe and I will keep giving y'all more free content just like this video. All right guys, so before we start, I actually have everything I'm about to build out in my SaaS masterclass, which you can access down below this video. Also, you can get a 30 day free trial of Go High Level down below this video if you haven't jumped into Go High Level yet. And so you can get all of this that I'm about to show you in my SaaS masterclass down below, but I'm still gonna show it to you guys because you may wanna just learn how the process works and so you can really master Go High Level. And so the first place we're gonna be starting is in the Forms tab. We're gonna be in our sub account under the Sites tab and then under Forms. And so the first form we have to build out is a showed and purchased form. And that form looks a little something like this. It's gonna ask for full name, business email, phone, company name, number of payments, which is actually a custom field that you have to create, and then package, which is also another custom field. I'm gonna show you guys how to create those custom fields right now. We're gonna do that by going up to add form element and then clicking up here, custom fields. Your layout may look a little bit different. I'm actually in the beta form builder right now. I don't know if it's changed for everybody, but we're gonna click custom fields right here. And uh, that's actually a custom field that I've created. You can see the package one right here and then the number of payments. They're both just drop down. So I'll show you how to create one really quick. So we're gonna do like a drop down multiple and um, hit next. And then from here, you can name that field package. And then right here, you can select contact and then you can create your different packages. So for me, I offer three different packages. I offer a 197 package, which is just the software by itself. I offer a 497 package, which is the software plus I do like one or two done for you services for my clients. And then I have a 997 package, it's like a thousand bucks a month that I do a bunch of done for you services with for my clients. And so you can create those different packages right here. So for this example, I have my like standard package, which is 197 a month. Then I'm gonna click add option. Then I'm gonna have my professional option, which is that 497 a month package. And then I've got my premium package, which is that 997. So then once you've done this, you would just hit save. I've already created this one. You can see right here, I've got the packages. And when we view this form, if I click preview, and then I click down to where it says packages, you can see those three that I've created right here. And then you can do the same thing for number of payments, which is also another custom field, which is gonna be the length of our contract. And so like I said at the very beginning of this video, you can do a six, nine, or 12 month contract. You could do longer or shorter if you want. You would just have to add those into your custom fields and you would create these the same way that you did the package custom field. And so once you've created this form, you can just name it showed and purchased by clicking over here, going to options, you can name the form. And then once you've finished it, just make sure to hit save. The next form that we need to create is the contract form, which is just a very basic form. It asks for full name, signing date. So this is actually another custom field you can add by going over to custom fields, add custom field, and then you'll select the date picker right here, hit next. And then the field name you can call signing date and uh, it can be the contact information. And so it's actually gonna have a date selector where they can pick the date and then you're gonna hit save. And then you're gonna add that and drag that over onto the form. If the custom field doesn't pop up right as you save it, you might have to refresh your page and then it should pop up. And then after you've added the custom field for signing date, you're gonna create another custom field which is gonna be client signature. And you can do that by clicking add custom field gonna select down here signature next, and then you can call this one client signature. And then you're also gonna select contacts. This is contact information, their signature, and then you'll hit save. Once it populates down here, you will drag that onto the form just like I've done. Um, I'm gonna show you what this form looks like in real time, because this is actually something the client's gonna be filling out and signing. So they'll put in their full name, their signing date, which will pop up with this date selector, which is pretty cool. And then they can actually like sign the form, which is also pretty cool. 
and uh, then they'll hit submit. Once you're done with this one, also make sure to go into your options right here and name the form, contract form, hit save, and then go back out. Now that we have these forms built out, I'm gonna show you kind of how they work with the sequence of them signing the contract. And so we're actually gonna bring these forms into a funnel, which I have built out right here. Again, it's in my SaaS masterclass, this whole snapshot with everything already built out, so you guys don't actually have to do this if you don't want to. You can just steal my snapshot but the client contract funnel is what I've built out. This is very basic guys. I haven't used this a ton and so I could definitely make it look better and you guys can customize it, make it look as pretty as you want, but I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. So at the very top here, you could put your company's logo and then we have that first showed and purchased form, meaning that our client showed up to the demo call and they wanna buy the software. And so what we're gonna do after they're like, yeah, let's go ahead, let's do this. You're gonna be like, okay, great. Let me send you this link really quick and we can go ahead and have you fill out this form for us. And it'll auto populate our contract for the six month agreement or the nine month or the 12 month agreement that we've talked about on this call. And so this is gonna be sent to your client. They're gonna fill out all this info here, full name, business email, phone, company name, number of payments, package, and then they're gonna hit submit. So this is all something the client's gonna do, but you're still gonna be on the demo call with them. You definitely wanna have this done over the call and not send it to them after because they may forget about it or they may change their mind. You wanna make sure they take action right on the call. And so this is the first step of the funnel. We need all of these fields right here so that it can populate the information that's gonna go actually on the signing page where they sign the contract, which is our second step of the funnel. And so I'm gonna go back out of here and I'm gonna go down to the second step in our sales funnel, which is actually our contract funnel, which is the agreement page right here, which I can then click on and I'll show you kind of how this one looks. So for this part, we use custom values. We have our business name, agreement with, then right here, it's gonna paste in the person's name. Whatever they put in on that first form that they filled out, it'll populate into here. The package price that they selected, whether it was the 197, the 497, or the 997 plan, it'll show the price and the package that they selected. And then the term of the agreement right here, it'll auto populate if they chose a six month, nine month or 12 month agreement. So it's really cool that it just auto puts it in there into the custom fields on this funnel. And then down below, they can see the different plans. And so they know which one they selected and they can kind of review over what they're getting in the plan that they selected. And then down at the bottom, they can put their full name, the date, and they can sign the form right here and then they can hit submit. And so that's them basically submitting the contract with us and uh, signing off that they are gonna do the six, nine, or 12 month agreement on the 197, 497, or the 997 plan. After they've signed this though, we wanna be able to send them a copy of their signed contract. And so the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go over into the marketing tab and we're gonna go up to emails and then email templates where I already have an email template built out. I've called it client's copy of contract. I'm gonna click on that and show you guys how it works. And so right here, you can see the email will say, hey, John, here's your copy of our marketing agreement, location, name, agreement, which will automatically put the name of your sub account. So for me, it'd be advanced selling systems agreement. Package price is the you know standard 197. And then the term of agreement is the six, nine or 12 months agreement. And then below that, we've pasted in the different plans again so they can see it, the option that they chose and what it offers. And then up down at the bottom, we paste in the client signature, which is that custom field that we've created. It'll automatically paste in their signature down there at the bottom. So it looks like this is their signed copy. It's not technically their signed copy, but it's basically their signed copy that they can review and have just for their files and records. Now that we have this email template right here, we can go down to our automation tab and we can create an automation that automatically sends that after they sign and submit their signature, which is gonna be this automation right here, which is also in my snapshot, so you guys can have that down in my SaaS Masterclass again down below. Um, but this is what the automation looks like. We have a trigger event, which is the contract form being submitted. The form is the contract form. So after that's submitted, after they sign that and hit submit, it will remove them from all other workflows. We don't wanna keep hitting them up with our follow-up drips and stuff because they actually paid us now, and now we don't have to keep following up with them. And then we have that email, and I've selected that client's copy of contract email right there. 
which will automatically send them their signed copy of the agreement with us, what package they're with and how much it costs them per month, how many months they're with us and all that good information that they need. All right guys, so now I actually have the funnel pulled up where the client would sign the contract. So I'm gonna pretend like I'm a client, I've just been sent this and I wanna do like the 997 plan for 12 months. So I'm gonna fill in my info right here and uh, I've got my name, email, phone number, company name. I'm gonna select 12 months for the number of payments and then the 997 package. I'm doing this all while I'm still on the Zoom with the business owner and I'm gonna hit submit and then it's gonna take me to the next page of the funnel where it's gonna populate my info, business name. So you would paste your business name right here. Um, agreement with Jasper Aking, so I filled that in on the form. Package price, uh, premium package for 997 and then term of agreement, 12 months. And then down below, we have our plans represented and what they offer. And then I can go in and I can sign, I can type my full name right here. Signing date is today the 17th. And I could do my signature right here really quick and I can hit submit. Once the client hits submit and signs that form, they're gonna be redirected to our payment page on our website. So this is not in the funnel, this is actually now in the website which we link them over to whenever they submit that final form and sign. And that's where they can put in again their company name, full name, email, phone number, and then they can go to step two. They can select the 997 package, they can put in their card info and they can pay us. And then after submitting that, I will also have gotten an email with the copy of my signed agreement. Well, there it is guys. That's how you do contracts inside of Go High Level. If you want everything that I just built out with the contracts and just all of my snapshot with my website and my automations and everything that I use for my business, you can get access to my snapshot and my SaaS masterclass down below this video. It's in like the first like one through sixth video. It's somewhere in there. And uh, you can access that, import it into your Go High Level account and have everything that I use. Also, if you haven't started using Go High Level yet, but you're wanting to start, you can get a 30 day free trial at my link down below. That's my affiliate link. So if you sign up with my link, I'll give you as much free one-on-one -on -one help as you need to help you set up your account, teach you how to use the software, teach you how to get clients with it for your agency and just anything you need help with. I appreciate you guys sticking through to the end of this video. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.